Hi guys, my name is Sabine and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to show you guys the books that I read in August. August flew by, like every single month has flown by, but I feel like especially this month because I'm just constantly preparing to move out, kind of out of home and to my new city and preparing for school and I'm really, really, really nervous but I am hoping that it is going to be a really great time. I still managed to read a couple of books, not as many as I want to because you guys probably saw my ambitious August TBR. I wanted to read like eight books initially, but because of one I got kind of in a little bit of a reading slump. So let's start off with the first book that I read in August and this is not a book, it's more like a graphic novel and I feel like by saying that this is a graphic novel I'm even not really saying what it is because this is adulthood is a myth a Sarah Scribbles collection by Sarah Anderson and it's like also not a graphic novel because these are just really teeny tiny comics maybe that's what you'd say on every single page you sort of have like a really funny relatable situation it just was such a funny book to read and I definitely left out loud a couple of times and I believe that Sarah Anderson makes these kind of like comics on Instagram that you can follow her on there but she also has like a second kind of comic book like this so I might have to check that one out and maybe I can buy it and read it because this one was just so much fun and I'd probably give it like a four and a half out of five stars because the art style is really simple but cute and the situations that she described were just so relatable. Next up I read another graphic novel and this time I could definitely say that this is a graphic novel and that one is Nimona by Noelle Stevenson and this one was so much fun too. So last month I did like the booktubeathon wrap up and I read two graphic novels that time and I just really wanted to read another one and this one is super popular. This story is about Nimona who is going to be the sidekick of this video villain right here which is Blackheart but Nimona is actually much more villainous than Blackheart himself and you follow their story and it's really adorable. I love the artwork. It is just so pretty and the story itself is so action-packed and a ton of fun. I don't think that I'm gonna give this one like a five out of five stars because I don't know, the beginning definitely intrigued me a bit more than the ending, but still definitely a four to five. It was just a great graphic novel. It's also longer than the usual ones. And I'd say if you are interested in picking up one, definitely get this one and read it. It's so good. Then I finally read just a regular book and that one is City of Ashes by Cassandra Clare. And this one also kind of brought me into a reading slump. Not really, but sometimes I just kind of lost interest in the story because the chapters are usually like 20 or 30 pages each. And that is really long for me. Um, but the story itself, I think I do prefer the story of City of Bones. I just really loved following our group of characters again and the story just got a little bit more interesting and I can definitely not wait to pick up City of Glass, although it will probably take me another year because it took me a year to pick up the second book in the Mortal Instruments. But I'd probably give this one like a three and a half, three point seven five out of five stars because of the fact that I sometimes just lost interest a bit. It was like a good read but definitely not the best book of this year for me. And then the final book that I actually finished is A Monster Calls by Patrick Ness which is inspired by an idea from Siobhan Doubt? Doubt? I don't know how to pronounce her name. This one is so hyped, like so so hyped. So I had like quite high expectations so I kind of like lowered my standards a bit but still you know every time that I picked up this book I'm like oh my god this is supposed to be really good and everyone is getting super super emotional about this one and I definitely had to cry mostly at the end of the book but the story itself is not that entertaining for me and I know that mainly it's not really supposed to be entertaining but it didn't really caught my attention. I definitely say I'm a little disappointed with this one, but I'm still like super excited to see the movie sometime in the near future because I've heard it's really good. This is a book about Connor and all of a sudden there is a monster coming to him and talking to him and his mother is like um, ill, like super, super ill. And that's where you follow the story from. So I gave this one a three and a half out of five stars. Like it's a nice story, but for me, it's not super memorable or anything like that. So those were the four books slash graphic novels novels that I actually finished, but my current read is The Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue by Mackenzie Lee. After reading A Monster Calls, I just didn't know in what kind of mood I was with reading. Like, I still don't know if I want to read contemporary or fantasy because those are my two favorite genres, but I'm kind of feeling this one right now. It's like in historical fiction. I said 
in my giant August book haul that this was a fantasy. It's not. It's an historical fiction about this bisexual guy called Monty and he goes on this grand tour with like his best friend Percy who he's actually in love with. You follow their like adventure story from there on. I'm halfway through. I'm really liking it but it's not that I'm loving it as much as everyone else. For this one I'm doing something different as well because I wanted to read this on a really long train ride this past Thursday. So I downloaded the audiobook and I've never read a book through like an audio format before so it's really interesting and I'm liking it as well so I think I'm gonna finish this one with like the audiobook. So I still need to finish that so that will also be in my September TBR video. So those were like the four and a half books that I finished this August. Let me know in the comments down below what books you have read this month. If you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see more of my videos and if you guys want to follow me on all of my other social media pages I have Goodreads, Bookstagram, a personal Instagram, Snapchat, and an email address so links to that are also in the description down below and you can check it out and do whatever you want. Again thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!